Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Scott with Three Guns Down as always, and I bring you some disturbing news, Starside. Today I'm going to show you something you're probably not going to like that much. I'm going to be using my Hunter and my Titan in PvP in the Iron Banner, which just recently came out. I'm going to be using this specific weapon, it's an auto rifle, the Silvered Hushwind D. First, I'm going to be using it on my level 26 Hunter. So first, I'm going to go into the Iron Banner, then I'm going to go into the normal Crucible. Look at these damage results. The Silver Hushwind D does 24 damage per headshots. Here's another Titan, 24 damage per headshot. Here's another Hunter and a Warlock, 24 damage per headshot. We're going to see another Titan, 24 damage per headshot. We did have a 23 there, and there's 16 for body shots. Now we're going to go into Control, the normal Crucible. Here's a Hunter, 24 damage per headshot. We're going to see another Hunter here, 24 damage per headshot. And then we're going to see a Warlock, 24 damage per headshot, with variables of 3. The variations of 3 do come up here and there. I'm going to take the Silver Touchwind D from my vault, equip it to my Titan, and we're going to go into the Iron Banner. This is the exact same gun with the exact same stats, nothing's changed about it. It's just simply on my level 28 Titan now, rather than my level 26 Hunter. Now, in the Iron Banner, it says level advantages enabled. What does that mean? Well, if level advantages are enabled, that means we should be able to see a noticeable difference whether it's between damage or armor from guns. So I should either have increased damage on my level 28 or if I have extra armor I should have reduced damage on my level 28. Now the largest variation I have seen is one point of damage, 23 rather than 24. We're going to go into control now and you'll see again 24s across the board. Here's a Hunter and a Titan together, 24s across the board. So what does this mean? Well, it means that there are no level advantages enabled in the Iron Banner, at least not ones that you'll notice in terms of damage application or damage reduction from any of your weapons. Now, you could take another weapon and try this in the Iron Banner, and you'll probably get different results in terms of the standard number across the board but you will get one consistent number across the board for headshots and body shots. This leads me to believe that the Iron Banner is just really a lie. There are no level advantages enabled. It's just another playlist to make you believe that there's more to do in this game than there really is. Another example of this was Combined Arms. Combined Arms was supposedly a vehicle heavy playlist when in reality all Combined Arms was Bastion and first light over and over again. No added vehicles, nothing changed about the maps. So does the Iron Banner really have level advantages enabled? As far as I can tell, no. Not in the way that they're applicable to damage of weapons or reduction of armor, which would be the two major things that you should see level advantages in. I'm Scott with Three Guns Down. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. Share it out to your friends. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch where all the Destiny action happens. I will see you guys starside.